All right, just a quick video to show y'all how this works because even with instructions, still not super intuitive and nobody likes reading anyways. So what you're gonna do when you get this is you're gonna go file and uh, save a copy in Drive just so you have your own copy. So you'll have your own copy like this. And then what you wanna do is you wanna prepare your CSV. This particular one takes these headers, the prompt, the number of images you want, and the keyword, which is going to be end up being the name of the file. So, for example, if I said, uh, zoop, let's say I wanted to generate images of, um, is it prompt? Did I fuck that up? No, okay. Let's say I wanted to generate images of, um, da, 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 da. I'll just use what I was using before, um, LED gaming mouse and I want five of them and I'll just have the keyword be that and then maybe this one I'll say um, QR code scanner three or thirteen or however many you want whatever it is that you're trying to generate images of you know, like inflatable bananas. Who knows? You're 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 probably a weirdo. So maybe you are generating images of inflatable bananas. I don't know. So you'll save this as input.csv. And over here on the left, you'll click this thing. And desktop, you can upload your situation there. Then you're going to add your API key here from OpenAI, um, which I'm going to probably just pause the screen and add so you all ain't stealing my creds. And then you should be able to, at this point, you should be able to just go up to runtime and click run all. And this is going to run, this is going to run, and it's going to do a bunch of stuff down here that you can ignore um, and then you just wait a little while because it's got to you know Dolly has got to do his stuff and then over here on the left side it's going to create a folder called generated images and that's where you'll get your images from so I'll just pause this while it generates and like all of these errors come up, but just ignore it. It's still going. You can see the generated images folder is, is here and it's starting to populate with the things that we want. This thing just popped up for me. So if you want to go do something else, you can get a notification when Google Collab is done running. And if you want, you can make this go faster um, by choosing like a higher uh, GPU or resources. I'm just using like the base free one. So it's a little bit slow, but you could probably speed it up a little bit if you want to, but you know, whatever, it's not a big deal. So you can see here, this is my generated images. Cool. So now if I can just, um, How do you download things in this day and age? Ooh, the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Um, and also, if you wanted to, you can click this thing and connect it to your Google Drive, so it just saves it straight into your Google Drive. But I'm looking for download, upload new file, rename. Copy path? I don't know. No. How the fuck do you download these things again? Oh, maybe I can just... Alright, whatever. I'm just going to connect it to my Google Drive. Because this is... I don't usually use this situation, so I don't know exactly how this part of it works. Ugh.
Okay, yeah, I remember. I'll I'll bake this into the other stuff, but um, it's just one more command. So you run this, you hit this, it'll zip up this folder. But I'll um, I'll make it automatic. So once it's done downloading all the images, it's gonna zip it for you. And then when it's done, you just refresh, and you can download your zip file, which you know takes a second, I guess, depending on how many images you just spammed out of ChatGPT Dolly 3, because they're pretty big, they're like 5 megabytes each. And now I have this on my desktop, and here are all my images of inflatable bananas, and gaming mice. And whatever else we prompted. It's like the men in black erasing your memory. So, there you go. That's how you use this. Have fun and, uh, you know, make some inflatable bananas.